So I haven't spoken much about Paris Monte Carlo on this channel, but today for this Safterbond.com contributor review video, we're reviewing one of the latest of two Paris Monte Carlo releases called Cacao Aztec, this right here. You're also gonna find out about how to win a full bottle of Cacao Aztec all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on this channel and or you still haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also please click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And if you don't know much about Paris Monte Carlo, today is the day for you to find out about Cacao Aztec, but a little about the brand. They are somehow connected or a sister company of Hubagon, who I've spoken much about, Fougere Royale and um, a few other fragrances on this channel. But Paris Monte Carlo has a few fragrances that I'm a big fan of. Oud Imperial is one of them, Rose de Taif is another, and Santal du Pacifique is another one. So they have a great, great collection of fragrances. They also have X-rays, uh, stronger, more pure perfume concentrated fragrances of a lot of their fragrances, which are absolutely amazing. But Cacao Aztec is one of the latest releases, launched in 2017. It comes in Eau de Parfum concentration like this, and it also comes in the x concentration as well. This is part of the Black Collection. The perfumer behind Cacao Aztec is Matthew Narden of Roberté. The fragrance, and as 100 ml like this, retails for $180. For notes here in Cacao Aztec, at the top you've got black pepper, pink pepper, cardamom, in the heart, you've got Rum, Absolute, Orchid, Hittosporum, Tuberose, Absolute. In the base, you've got Sandalwood, Cacao, Absolute, and Musk. So the fragrance starts out a bit spicy, peppery at the top with that black pepper and uh, pink pepper with the cardamom. So it's a zingy start. It's pretty uh, uplifting at, at that time, and it just kickstarts this uh, wonderful fragrance. In the heart, it becomes a bit rummy along with the orchid, uh, with the pritosporum, and the tuberose absolute. So you've got a floral mix with that rum absolute at the heart, and I really love this part. One of the things is because it's got pitosporum, and pitosporum is a flower grown on trees, um, and we've got a lot of uh, those trees here in San Francisco with pitosporum. They bloom like three or four times, maybe two or three times, I'm not really sure, but every two or three, four months, I smell these flowers and they're gorgeous, gorgeous smelling flowers. And I've always wanted to find um, this smell in fragrances. And here in Cacao Aztec, it's pretty dominant. So I can pick it up really, really um, big. And then finally in the base, the Cacao Absolute does kick in along with the sandalwood and musk. So if you're expecting some kind of a gourmand fragrance with Cacao Aztec, it's definitely not that. This is not a gourmand, absolutely not sweet. The sweetness in this fragrance is from the flowers in the heart. That's where the sweetness comes in. And the cacao here is a, a savory uh, interpretation of uh, cacao. So it's before any sugar is added. So what you're smelling here, here is the cacao, but it's not sweet. It's, uh, it's actually probably, to me, it's inspired from the Aztecs because, you know, the name Aztec and they are known for the uh, the cacao harvesting and planting and all that good stuff. It's when you open up a, a cacao pod and all the cacao beans are inside, it's open and you take a whiff of it. It's a bit floral, it's a bit woody, it's a bit uh, peppery, spicy. It's exactly what you're smelling. And that's basically what I get from uh, Cacao Aztec. The great thing about Cacao Aztec is that it's got great longevity. It's not one of those fragrances that projects really heavily. So you've got moderate projection at the beginning, but uh, long lasting, a uh, fragrance that lasts all day, closer to the skin, so it's more personal, but a good combo of the spices and the flower, floral notes and that savory cacao in the dry down. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great release for fall, I think. It's a great time to wear it. And if you like the combo of the spices and the floral notes with that cacao, I suggest you really, really try this one because I quite love wearing it, especially that it also has that wonderful pittosporum note that I can really pick up here. So if you want to participate in a full bottle uh, cacao Aztec giveaway, please click the link below to safarbon.com, head over there and follow their rules, of course register and uh, put a comment down and uh, participate in the full bottle giveaway because this is a valued at $180. Good luck with that. Also guys, please let me know your thoughts on the Paris Monte Carlo line. Are you familiar with the line? Are you familiar with cacao Aztec? Have you tried? Are you curious to try? Please put comments down so we can get a conversation started. 
Also, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.